Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 4, Episode 9. It's the semifinals! This to me is the most exciting episode. Only three people will go on to the finals. Let's get started. We did it! We got to the semifinals. There are the easels set up. There are nine participants. And let's take a look at how we got here. Here are what the nine, these are the nine participants who won their particular episode. So you can pause this and look closer. And if you've watched the, the series along with me, you'll recognize these. So it's a nice feel, field of contenders. Nice job. So, um, so this, this could be a really interesting semifinals. I think everybody is, is pretty much up to the task. Again, there's four hours, so the time constraints are the same as they've been before. But just to get an idea of the range of our participants, let's take a look here. Here are the participants. Here's the first one with her self-portrait. She looks so much younger in that self-portrait, but it's a beautiful job. Now remember, the self-portraits are what they send in to be picked for the program, so there's no time limit. They can spend all the time they want to on this. Here's the second one very strong resemblances. Every single one, I think, nailed their own self-portrait very, very well. And again, with no time constraints. This was this was one of my favorites from from early in the program, just because I, I tend to like that, that type of painting. And boy, it sure does look like her too. But we'll talk more about all of this later. And let's look at the next one. So this is the fourth participant. Boy, that is a, such a strong piece. Oof. I, I have to stop doing that woof sound. I sound like a dog when I do it, but it's when my breath is taken away a little bit with admiration. Uh, here's the next one. Um, again, we have a really strong field. This, this, I'm excited about the semifinals. But, spoiler alert, um, people must be very, very nervous on this day. And it, it does show in their work, which is coming up later. So next one, so this is participant number seven, six. We have eight participants because this is episode nine. This was, the next one is, I thought that was, I really love that self-portrait. Every single one of these self-portraits is just absolutely excellent. You can see why they would be chosen to be on the program. So we've done a really good job. All right, now the next part of the program is uh, in the semifinals, what they do is a, something called a double portrait. So two people are set up, and you have to paint both of them. The first one is Lily Cole. She's a model, actor, and author. And the other is Simon Cowell. Callow, sorry, Simon Callow, who's, uh, I, be, I think, believe he's a Scottish actor. I think the first time he came to my attention was in Four Weddings and a Funeral. But he, he, shows, up, <laughs> he shows up in a lot of B BBC things. So they've set them up in front of it, almost like a theater kind of curtain, but I don't think that's going to come into play very much. So let's see how people set this up. Well, this is how the um, judges set them up. That's, that's a really nice viewpoint from right there. I would have been really happy with that because I've got a lot of angles to work with, and um, the overlap of the figures will create some distance. Yeah, that, uh, that's that's like a perfect composition right there. I would have been really happy with that. So this is what they have to paint. And now, four hours later, they turn their easels around. We get a first very quick look of what we might be seeing in the judging. So there are four of them. But remember, there are, what did I say, seven? <laughs> Eight. Eight participants. Seven. Anyway, whatever it is. There they, they're all there. They all showed up. Um, clearly from here you can see that some people were able to finish uh, and some some struggled with the obviously with the time constraints but we will look at each one of these individually and see see what we can see but it's always fun to see that first look when they turn the easels, easels around that's the most exciting part of the program for me all right here's the first one the second head is almost lost you can see it on the far right of her but it almost looks like part of her hair. So that doesn't work very successfully. Um, it, there are lots of reasons why this I, just, doesn't, just doesn't work. I feel like this artist showed up and, and um, maybe it's her process because I'm not exactly sure how 
that many strokes takes four hours to do. But I just get the feeling that she kind of choked. It just the pressure got to her. But what I do respond to that I really love is using the complementary colors, to be using all those various oranges and to play them against the blue. That's smart color theory, so that's nicely done. And there is a sense of, of a figure there, but, but that other figure needs to emerge because right now, you know, it's one of those things, it becomes a phantom shape in a painting and your brain just can't let go. It's like, what is it? It doesn't make sense. All right, here's the next one. Um, this, this, this is beautifully done. It's sort of um, it's done as two separate portraits. I, I wish that they had overlapped, but, but uh, maybe they didn't have the opportunity to do that. And let's take a look. Boy, the detail, the detail of that. I mean, that's, that's really beautiful work right there. And also looks very much like Simon Cal Callow. So, so good job on that. Remember, we are looking for Portrait Artist of the Year. There's the piece. Boy, I, I would think that she's going to go on to the finals, but um, I'm always wrong. So, you know, hashtag Joe is always wrong. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, but... Um, but I think that's a really good painting. However, I've got to say, you could split it. You could split the canvases, and you can see where, and it would be two separate paintings. Here's the next one. A uh, very interesting, very, um, what do you call it? sculptural in a way. Um, clearly two faces, so good on that. They got, they got that in. And um, uh, some, uh, hmm. the one Simon Callow looks like he looks, the other one... It doesn't exactly look like, oh, darn it. Now we pulled back. See how chalky it is? Just chalky. And, oh, that's just something that I don't respond really well to. I, I like, I like if possible, not that I don't like neutrals. I like neutrals. Neutra neutrals being colors you don't necessarily have a name for. You know, grays, browns, that kind of thing, which are dominant in this painting. But it really needed some, for me, it needed some hue. All right, here's the next one. This is a good one and really looks looks pretty similar to both of them. Uh, this is a good job. I would think this guy will go for, forward. Now, you see how the, the, the colors here aren't chalky. You know, those reds are, are very red in the lips and the ears. All right, here's the next one. Boy, that's, boy, he sure did capture her. Maybe not Simon, not as well. Uh, but it, it definitely works and doesn't look, well, it doesn't quite look like two separate paintings. We pull back, it still has a good impact. Boy, I would think this one would go on to the finals, but um, but we will see. And it's always fun to see the models looking at their cells. The next one is one where I really feel like, this is one of my favorite painters throughout the program, and um, I just... She just didn't have the time. She just didn't have the time. You can see the underpainting on uh, the woman's face. And unfortunately, cause she, because she didn't get any color in there, the, the whole painting really, really suffers. But you, could, you can see what it would have been. So I kind of wish uh, that this person would go forward, but I don't know that she does. See how ghostly that underpainting look, looks? It, it it's almost makes me, uh, makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But, but I don't think that had anything to do with her skill. I think it was just no, just time. Another one, uh, nicely done. Doesn't look like him at all. I like the gesture of her head. That sort of tilt is nicely done. Double portrait is, you know, to say the least, that, that's a challenge, especially in this short amount of time. When we pull back, oh boy, when we pull back, it doesn't hold together so well. It looks a little bit like a mishmash. My eye doesn't know exactly where to go. And let's see, and this one, I somehow this one, oh, I, I already talked about this one. Sorry, I don't know how it got in there twice. Some of the images were so similar, it was hard for me to discriminate <laughs> whose was whose. But I already talked about this one, and I, I am a fan of this one. But I think I have, I think I pulled back so we can see how it looks from far away. Because remember, this is gonna, you know, the commission goes on a gallery wall. Uh, it's not as impactful when you, when you pull away. Um, you know, it is gonna go on a gallery wall and that means it has to have an impact that reads from way across the room. So, and, but again, it's a small scale painting. They had limited amount of time to do it. This is, this is one is my favorite one so far. And we didn't get to see much about this artist's process, but uh, 
but I really do like this one. But now we are going to get to the part where the models get to choose which painting they're going to take home. This has nothing to do with the final judging, just which one are they going to take home. So let's see. So Lily chooses. Um, oh, I was surprised at Lily's pick, but she picked this one. Uh, I always get to say in these recaps at some point, I don't get it. Uh, I don't get it. This is not the one I would have picked. <laughs> But it's the one she picked, and she's happy with it, so good for her. So that's going home with her. And now let's see which one Simon Callow picks. He picks what was my fave in this particular episode, so I would have been really happy to, to have that in my home. Now we're going to look at all the paintings again. These are all the paintings from today, um, the semifinals. And that's kind of fun to see them all lined up there. Um, I do have some favorites. I don't know and never know what the judges are going to do. But it, I do feel like, for the most part, as great as these... You saw how great these painters were with their uh, self-portraits. And I feel like so many of them choked today. And I understand completely. I would have choked. There's just, there's just no way to get in that free and easy headspace, problem-solving space for painting with, with cameras and the hoop, you know, all the hoopla and no, probably no one slept the night before. So there they are waiting to see who's picked. The winners are this one, which is, I have no problem with that. It's going to be an interesting finals though. Uh, but let's, let's hold on to that for a second. The second one, this one really surprised me. Um, I Although I, I really loved her, the painting that she did in her episode, I probably loved it too much because it was way pixelated in that one. But, but her self-portrait pulled it all together. So I think, I think she has the skills, but boy, not today. It just didn't show today. And for me, in terms of Portrait Artist of the Year, in terms of getting a resemblance and really competent, well-done painting, I think this, this was the one that did it for me today. So now we leave and go to the finals. The finals is between these last three painters and we will see what they ask them to do. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for, mask for value, mix for color, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>